Hello, I'm Sylvia Boerstein. I'm one of the teachers here at Spirit Rock Meditation Center. And I want to tell you about a particular aspect of friendliness practice, which is what I've begun to call what's traditionally known as metta practice, and sometimes called loving-kindness practice. I'm so pleased to think always of my uh, colleague Guy Armstrong's uh, definition of the mind that's filled with metta, or loving-kindness, or friendliness. He says it's very much like frozen orange juice. He says, everything extra has been squeezed out of it, and only the sweetness is left. I love to think about that. When the mind is full of sweetness, it really loves everything it sees, everything it thinks about. It behaves with kindness. It wishes well. It's a marvelous thing to think about. When we actually teach loving-kindness here as a form of practice, we begin with the instruction that people think of themselves and wish themselves well. Perhaps you in this moment would like to think to yourself, may I feel safe, may I feel content, may I feel strong, may I live with ease. Maybe do it one more time. I'll leave a little time for you to say it and really close your eyes for a moment and see how that feeling echoes through your body. Say to yourself in your mind, even out loud if you're alone, may I feel safe? May I feel content? May I feel strong? May I live with ease? I'd invite you to practice those blessings for yourself throughout the day whenever you have a moment to think of them. Maybe for some moments as you have some time to spend in meditation practice. You know, sometimes people ask about wishing well for oneself. Sometimes people find it awkward to wish well for themselves, thinking of how many people there are in the world who seem more in need of good wishes and blessings. So I love to tell the Buddha's response to that. He said, if you search the whole world over, you will find no one more worthy of your well wishes than yourself. When I first heard that, however pleased I was to hear it, I thought that can't be true. Surely I'm not the most worthy person in the whole world. I don't think it has to do with who's the most worthy. I think it has to do, well, I'd like to leave that as a koan, as a riddle for you to think about. What do you think it has to do with? Think one more time. May I feel safe. May I feel content. May I feel strong. May I live with ease. May this be a world in which all beings feel safe and content, and strong, and live with ease. Thank you so much for your practice.